Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, considering all the light that's coming through that door, that's likely the way out. But we're not going to be going that way, in part because Bladder told us that it would be really difficult for us to escape through that door. We're going to be going everywhere else first, looking at everything that we can, taking everything that we can, and seeing if we can solve a puzzle or two along the way. First, the lounge. It doesn't look very comfortable. These chairs create spinal irregularities. And because they don't sell very well, they are frequently used in doctors' waiting rooms and public facilities. Yep, that sounds about right. Those chairs typically aren't that comfortable. Are you resting quite comfortably? No answer is an answer too, you know. But is it an answer saying yes or an answer saying no? We may never know. Clearly, we want one of these. I'd have taken it if it was done in lilac. But this, nah. Clearly, we must find some lilac paint and then paint the chair that color. Then we'll add it to our inventory. We have another quest, everyone. One that we're likely never going to be able to complete, but we'll try. This isn't the time or place to take a break. I could think of less conspicuous places to take a rest, indeed. Harvey? What do you think of this, Harvey? Wow! A bale of Galapagos turtles! How can you tell they're Galapagos turtles? They don't flee when you flail your arms wildly. Um... I mean, they don't flee if you make the standard arm movement. I'd sure like to see that. Wow! Galapagos turtles! By that logic, a lot of things in the world are Galapagos turtles to Harvey. Something to know. Polo Manet? We'll use that one last, I think. First, oh, actually, we don't have our paper cup. Well, you know what that means. We need to get our paper cup. Up we go. Up we go. In we go. And it's time to grab that most useful of items. I have no idea why it was used up when we put it behind the potted plant on the ground floor. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. The fact that I didn't notice the cup was gone probably says something about how useful it is. But I'm not going to give up on the paper cup. I know the paper cup wouldn't give up on me, that's for sure. Oh, who am I kidding? It would probably give up on me in an instant. Paper cup? See what you can do with these Galapagos turtles. Hmm, I guess no one will notice if I just put it down here. And there is another paper cup, cleverly hidden away. And we're gonna have to go and get another one, aren't we? Yes, we will. But first, let's use everything else. I'm gonna arrest you for loitering. You should talk to a character in the Discworld game about that. He's all about accusing people of loitering. Ballpoint pen? That's the chair that we're going to be taking when we make it lilac. Edna has decreed it so. Comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless trying to remember the phone number of his carpenter. He really should have written it down. Right, time to cause some mayhem. I can acknowledge that Polo is played sitting down, but I still can't entirely understand your rationale behind this. We need rationale? Were you talking directly to me there? I think you were. Well, since we've used that paper cup, you know what that means. Time to get another one. It's a good thing this truly is an infinite supply of wet paper cups. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. Most likely. But I'm going to keep hoping. Back down we go. We have a painting to look at, and then a message board, and then a choice on where we want to go. But first, the painting. I can see a little girl in a whale's belly. I can see a bunch of circles and triangles on a line. Clearly we interpret art quite differently. Hold on, little girl in the picture. You'll manage to get out soon. And then you'll crush them. You'll crush them all. They shall taste your wrath. You can see a lot of different things in that picture. Let's take it with us. I don't like the motif. It reminds me of a little girl in the stomach of a whale. Hmm, curious. Is there something behind it? I can see a little girl in a whale's belly. 
No, there isn't. Harvey, what do you think about art? What do you make of it, Harvey? I can see Dr. Marcel's head on a skewer. And I see a good-looking Bugs Bunny double with a taste for shish kebab. The artist must have had a sick imagination. You see something very different to what I see in that. Okay, Paper Cup. What use do you have here? This cup is as useless as modern art. Now that's a bold statement that people could debate for quite a while. Toenail? I wonder if my toenail act will stand out as performance art. Stand out? Yes. Performance art? No. Harvey's probably right about that, and I didn't use the toenail on the lounge area. It isn't screwed, just stuck together loosely. Fair enough. Let's go back to using items on that painting. Like the police badge. Officers 218 to headquarters. Art is at large. It is armed and considered dangerous. Uh, assume pursuit? Over. You're going to need a lot more backup if you're going to take on that piece of art. Can we... enhance it? Why? Nobody would notice. Ooh, another statement that people would comment on for quite a while. Captain Useless? In this panel, we see Captain Useless cutting off Handy Boy's ear! Why would he do that? Okay, Polo Mallet, what can we do with this? This is what's always bugged me about modern art. It's impervious. Indeed it is. There's one more thing that we can look at here, and that is the message board. Clearly there's going to be a message saying, Hey Edna, why are you reading this? Why aren't you trying to escape? There probably won't be. It's free choice day in the cafeteria today. Ooh, can we choose freedom? That would be a nice choice. Verbal notes just don't stick. Indeed they don't. A bit bulky, don't you think? The messages, no. The message board, yes. I don't want to announce anything. Could you announce that you're definitely not trying to escape? That would certainly fool everyone. Harvey? Look, Harvey, a bulletin board. Yippee! This is my third favorite kind of board! Right after the entertainment software rating board and the Ouija board! Okay, one of those surprised me. And it wasn't the Ouija board. Pen? What did we doodle? Ah, smiley face, that is a good addition. Captain Useless? In this panel, we see Captain Useless pinning a picture of the Honkmobile to the bulletin board at the supermarket. Is he trying to sell it or is it missing? Who can say? What we can say is it's paper cup time. I'd love to, but there are no pins left. Oh, now we need to wait. We could go get the pin from the dartboard in the break room. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, we can't actually do anything with that. Plan scuppered. Plan scuppered. Darn. Darn. Plan scuppered. Let's see what happens if we use the police badge. I'd love to, but there are no pins left. The same line of dialogue. Anything else we haven't used? We haven't used the toenail? I'd love to, but there are no pins left. What about the polo mallet? I'd love to, but there are no pins left. I'm surprised you'd love to get rid of the polo mallet. Then again, you probably actually want to just put pins in it. Let's look at this door first. Ooh, it's a cafeteria. There's not a lot in here to look at except the ketchup and must except the ketchup and mustard. Let's look at these. Ketchup E001 cadmium tomato substitute from uranium residues. Keep away from children. Ketchup is not food and should under no circumstances be eaten. That's news that we should probably tell a lot of people about. They've been doing ketchup wrong all this time. Hi, ketchup. Hi, Edna. Everything tomato? I sure wish I had a V8. Can we use this? I... I'm bleeding. Go on without me, Harvey. Oh, no! Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well played, Edna. Harvey? What do you have to say about ketchup, the most enigmatic substance known to man? Are you hungry, Harvey? Not really. It feels like I've got a stomach full of cotton balls. 
We've heard that one before. Let's arrest the ketchup. It's a police badge, not a tomato patch. Fair enough. I'm wary to try the paper cup on it. We'll save that for last. For both of them. What about the toenail on the ketchup? You can eat ketchup with virtually anything. And now, bon appetit. Exquisite. But could you actually taste the toenail beyond all of that ketchup? That's the question. We're probably not going to get an answer to it. Can we use the pen on it? There's enough nonsense written on that. Enough nonsense? These two words should never be used in the same sentence. That's some sound logic from Harvey. It's also predictable logic from Harvey. In this panel, we see Captain Useless cooking a soup from killer tomatoes. Did it kill him? Was Comic 1 the only comic of the adventures of Captain Useless? We may never know. Polo mallet? The blood of my enemies is sticking to this mallet. Hmm, the blood of your enemies tastes like artificial flavoring. Shush. Has that actually changed what it looks like? Yes, it has. It's now a polo mallet covered in ketchup. Do we get different examine dialogue? I have a mallet, and I'm gonna use it. I haven't actually heard that yet, so that was worth it for just that. All right. Paper cup, ketchup. I prefer drinking my ketchup directly out of the bottle. Fair enough. Let's now look at the mustard. Actually, let's try and pick up the ketchup. Oh, we can take it. Oh, we're going to be causing a lot of mayhem with this. Does that mean that we can take the mustard as well? Double mayhem! Mustard. E005, E007, benzoic acid, kerosene. Warning, highly inflammable. Only for use in cattle breeding or the army. Makes me wonder why it's on this table. I'm cutting the mustard all the time anyway. That you are, Edna. That you are. Ah! Ouch! Hot! It certainly can be, but I doubt it's that hot. Are you hungry, Harvey? Not really. It feels... We've heard that one before. What about using the pen on it? I'd say I'm already cutting the mustard. Oh, Edna. Keep being you. Comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless fighting the Mustard Greens gang. Was he victorious? Find out in comic book two. Toenail? Meet mustard. You can eat mustard with virtually anything. And now, bon appetit. Exquisite. I like the fact that they went that little extra mile to have a slightly different bit of dialogue for it being mustard. Well played. We need another toenail. We also need to try and use the police badge on it. Do you have a license for that, mustard? <laughs> that should be all right then. Move along. I wonder what license is described by <laughs> The mystery will never be solved. Polo mallet? Stop! What is it? Are you aware of the fact that nobody in the whole world has ever tried this? Ooh. The space-time continuum could collapse. <gasps> or turn into a dove. Ooh. And nest in your ear. Oh. We just don't know. We just don't know. Sorry. Sometimes I think you have too large a part of the dialogue. We just don't know. Okay, that was hilarious. But the game didn't let us do it. There are some mysteries that will never be solved. I prefer drinking my mustard directly from the bottle. Can we take it? Oh, we can take it. What happens if we try and use the mustard on the ketchup? One hot dog without the onions and without the frank. In a bun? No. Without y'all, just my paw. Yippee! 
glad to have given you exactly what you wanted there. Can we use this on the cornflakes? Yummy. Cornflakes with mustard. Not bad. I could think of better combinations. What about mustard with police badge? Do you have a license for- <laughs> That should- Okay, that we've heard before. If you like going this way. Or that way. Or that way. So many choices. We're gonna go this way. Actually, there was that bulletin that we need to look at first. It says, today everybody gets their favorite meal. Hot dogs! Yippee! But did they specify what that favorite meal is? I don't think so. Maybe it's what this place thinks is their favorite meal. Bread and water. Or ketchup and mustard. There's a line of dialogue that didn't appear in the actual game there. I wonder if that's just because of the version of the game I've got, or if that's something that's in every version of the game. We may never know. No, I developed an allergy to origami. I'm sorry to hear that. Harvey? Look, Harvey. The bulletin says that it's free choice day today. Oh, great! I choose a super laser! I think this refers to food. Even better! I choose a super laser made out of chocolate! I want one of those, but it would probably melt as soon as I actually used it. Pen? Marvelous. Did you doodle your name on that? I think you did. Captain Useless? In this panel, we see Handy Boy putting up some missing posters for Useless Cat in front of the basement cave. The roster of characters for Captain Useless has expanded. Now there's Useless Cat, who is probably not actually useless. Probably actually the most useful person in the team. It isn't attached with screws. It's just taped on. Then clearly you use that to remove the tape and then take the bullet in, or better yet, take the tape. It was a gray and brainy free choice day in the cafeteria. Sheriff Conrad craved nothing more desperately than a serving of pistachio ice cream and a pack of cigarettes. I think we could get you the ice cream, if we could find the kitchen. The kitchen's probably in there. What about using mustard on it? Oh, are we gonna be able to use ketchup and mustard on lots of things? I hope so. Oh, we are, aren't we? Oh, we have to go back to our cell at some point. We have to use ketchup and mustard on everything. But first, let's use the water cup on the bulletin. I can't get rid of it here, I'm afraid. Why not? Just put it down. No one will know. Or do you have to hide it behind something all the time? The bulletin is flat enough. Fair enough. Let's go through here. And when we come back, folks, this very ominous corridor. What dangerous place will it lead to? Will all the wallpaper come off? And will I find more things that I can use the ketchup and mustard on? I imagine the ketchup and mustard are not actually items that serve any purpose in the game beyond splattering them on everything. But I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. Ah, I recognize one of these people. And Dr. Marcel, who is described here as Ugly Man. Yep, that's Edna definitely showing how she feels about Dr. Marcel in that description. To be fair, there's not much we've seen about him that's likeable so far. There probably isn't anything. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>